They're known for their speed and their endurance, sledding over 30 kilometers per hour over some of the world's harshest terrain, hour after hour trekking unimaginable distances. But not far from us on Vancouver Island, tucked away in Whistler, B.C., some people are saying there's just too many of them. The sled dog places up there, they need to downsize. They need to get less dogs because they have too many. So this is the best option for them. They come here, they get new homes. Comet looks like what people think of when they think of, they think of a sled dog. Comet? Comet, you see, he looks hey, like, the, and this is Ash. So the Victoria SPCA branch has jumped in to help these Whistler pups. These sled dogs are from the shelter Whistler Animals Galore, or WAGS. SPCA branch manager Penny Stone was able to bring 28 of them to the island. Although a number of the dogs are young, Penny says she just couldn't help but bring back some of the older ones, a few of which dealing with medical issues. They're dogs that have worked their life, and they've had their working time, and now it's time for them to return and just have fun. And what better place to retire than Victoria? Mild weather, plenty of parks, and the stats say about 15% of the people in Greater Vic are seniors too. But just because many of these dogs are six, seven, eight years and older doesn't mean they act their age. Actually, they're just like any other dog. They're going to need like an hour in the morning, an hour at night. And if you can do more for them, that's fabulous. Even the seniors here are really active and are going to need a lot of exercise. Do you guys know any tricks? They say we don't know anything except for how to pull. And Penny says it's all about temperament. A good temperament can make for a well-trained social dog, like this canine, who just can't seem to get enough of us, or the camera. Oh, hi, honey. I'm trying to be interviewed here. I'm trying to get you a home. <laughs> People want to come and rescue them. They don't need rescuing. They're safe. All these dogs are safe. What they need is someone who wants a dog and who wants to love them for the rest of their life and keep them and be part of their family. I'd take one home too, but I think the two dogs, two cats and eight horses I live with is probably enough. And if these dogs find homes on the island, then the Victoria SPCA says you can count on seeing more sled dogs heading this way. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.